Hello, Thunder Bay Live. I am sitting here with Gabby Shaw, who is going to be one sixth of the Different Pronouns, Different People um, forum happening at In Common, May 3rd at 1 p.m. Um, Debbie, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. thanks for being here. Thank thanks you for, for having here. me. Um, so we're just gonna jump right into it. Um, you identify as bisexual on the LGBTQ plus spectrum. Yes. Um, what are some misconceptions you find that you get? Uh, some of the misconceptions are that bisexuals would be promiscuous and be interested in threesomes just because they're bisexual. Lots of couples hear that a bisexual is promiscuous and would, would want to fulfill their fantasies when really that may not be the case scenario with every bisexual person. They may not be promiscuous whatsoever just because they can date a female or male. Um, also in a lot of uh, situations, if you're dating a male, a male could become insecure that you would, you would leave them for a lesbian or a female and same when you're dating with a lesbian, she could become insecure that you would leave her for a male. When key scenario is that's a mass misconception. I think it can happen on an individual basis, but you can't just identify whole sexuality oh. <clears throat> by those myths. Right on, cool, sweet. So, okay, how do you feel things have changed in the past five years for the LGBT plus community? In Thunder Bay, we're starting to do more pride parades. There's far more outreach for doing programs at bars and cafes. Bliss is doing a nightly talk, I think, we have gatherings and once have talks. Yeah, yeah, once a yeah. month there's talks there. A steaming cup of queer. Yeah, and then also um, certain bars will put on events, like Sugar Shakedown is quite big for the mm -hmm. gay community in Thunder Bay. I find that it brings out a lot of people that don't normally come out to the events and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. here for the shakedown. Um, okay, what is, um, okay, when you go into an establishment, um, how do you want to be treated? Like an equal to anyone else, a human. Magic. With respect. Human, eh? That's yeah, nice. just there's human. Um, okay, so, I'll just cut you off. Um, what kind of programs would you like to see for the LGBT community going forward? Um, more situations just past the bar. You know, the bar is a fun, outgoing, but not every person in the community drinks. Right. You know, and also dealing with people drinking isn't always fun. So maybe more situations at local libraries to have like, you know, books or movies on. Encompass all the Yeah, images. because there's lots of films actually out there that, you know, you can have film night for a certain gay or bisexual or whatever usually has a topic in it and stuff and have talks about it maybe or maybe more coffee shops or restaurants more like day things as opposed to like night things. yeah like i mean you can have evening events or just more i think the library would be actually be a really good idea cool. have so film one film of the first night. one of the first steps or one of the good steps that is happening is that there is something going on right okay. uh, different pronoun for different people uh the form happening at in common um, that is May 3rd at 1 p.m. And if you have any questions that you would like to ask Debbie or any of the other um, panel members, you are more than free to join. Thanks for being with me, Debbie. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, okay.